Selling pesticide chemicals on Amazon? No, guys. This new pesticides quiz not only includes chemicals, but also t-shirts that are germ-resistant, toys that don't spread viruses, or you can face a fine up to $19,000. How's it going? As I said in the intro, this new pesticides quiz is applicable to mats that prevent the spread of fungus, cutting boards that are antibacterial, shirts that are antibacterial, a bunch of different things that contain pesticides are included in this. The other kicker to all this is people who bundle. You can't do that with pesticides. I can't buy a gallon of some kind of pesticide and divide it into 10 one gallon containers. So that's really weird to think about when it comes to cutting boards or it comes to shirts or it comes to whatever because you can't change the way that they're packaged. You can't duplicate the labeling. You can't do any of that. Hi guys, my name is Jake Diego and on this channel I talk about ways you can improve your Amazon business, also personal development things, and lastly I share goals with you so that you can hold me accountable. Getting back to the pesticides discussion of this, the quiz itself was actually not that bad. It basically started with an intro, and then it had eight different modules after that. The, the modules themselves were the same format with an intro, and then you'd get into some of the content and then have a conclusion. The best part, though, was in order to pass the quiz, there's 20 questions, and you have to score it at least an 80%. You also get to take each question twice if you mess it up. So I did pass. I, I got a few wrong. I passed. I got a few wrong. But it's, it's fairly simple because you watch two to four minutes of video, you answer a question. Watch two to four minutes of video and answer a question. The questions themselves are multiple choice and true and false. Sometimes you got to select which one doesn't apply. Sometimes you have to select all the ones that do apply. So there was a little bit of that. Otherwise, though, it's super informative. It went over topics such as labeling, manufacturing, exemptions, scenarios, all that kind of stuff to prepare you and prevent you from getting up to a $19,447 fine. There were two parts, though, that I didn't quite like. Now, after I had passed the quiz, I went in to add a product and I plugged in the ACE in there. And then it still had an approval button. And on the next page, you had to enter your best email and a phone number in order to be contacted. Now that kind of scared me a little bit because it's like some kind of pharmacy of controlled substances in that they're going to be really scrutinizing, a lot of watchdog stuff going on. The other part of this that was kind of weird was at the end of the quiz, and that was each state has its own requirements. So... A little bit frustrating and I don't really know how to totally take it but I took the quiz and I passed the quiz and I didn't see a lot of harm and risk with the different garments cutting boards bath mats regular mats all that I would still definitely sell that that other stuff kind of made me a little sketched out I think I'm doing all right though and don't worry about the quiz guys because it's actually not that bad I would give you the answers to the quiz but I'm sure there's some way for Amazon or somebody to track this back to me to know who I am and possibly shut down my account and it's already bad enough that, going back to what I always say, we gotta jump through these hoops as sellers because Amazon owns the land. We've built our house on Amazon's land, we gotta play by their rules. If you have any questions about this, please comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe.